Good morning, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler. Today is Monday, June the 12th, 2023, and I'm coming to you from the tip of the mitt. Hello, you have found my channel, The Crafty Traveler. My name is Lonnie, and I am a 71-year-old female who loves to camp and travel. I'm saying goodbye to my husband for the next four months as I travel across country with my little schnauzer, Snickers. We're traveling in my Mini Winnie and towing my Honda. Come and subscribe to my channel and follow our adventures. Thanks for watching. I am currently at the TP campground and the northern part of the lower peninsula of Michigan. The campground is right on Lake Huron and they have a little beach at the end of the campground and you can see the Mackinac Bridge. I walked out there yesterday afternoon and took some pictures of the Mackinac Bridge. Here's one for you. If you didn't see that video, check it out. The weather is cool and cloudy and with a potential for rain. So I have decided not to go to the island. I just don't want to be caught in the rain. And looking at the map here that they gave me at the campground, I think I'm going to explore Mackinac City. If you want to see videos of Mackinac Island, just Google Mackinac Island and you're going to see hours of video. So I've decided to do something a little different. Go explore the city. There's a couple of lighthouses and there is a fort. So I'm going to check those out today. One of the things I had heard of but I had forgotten was they do fireworks over the bridge, at least on the weekends. And last night was Sunday night. And about 10 o'clock, I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone, and all of, uh, all of a sudden I hear boom, boom, ba -ba -ba boom. And I thought, my goodness, are we being attacked? And I realized that was the fireworks. I wasn't down by the beach, so I didn't see them. And as far away as I was, I could hear them really clearly. And Snickers got a little upset with the boom, so I don't think I'll be going down there to see them. And I don't know if they have them on Monday night anyway. And it's at 10 o'clock, and by 10 o'clock I'm usually laying in bed, which I was. I was laying in bed watching TV. I get about 10 channels on my television antenna here, including NBC and CBS and a comedy channel. And so that's keeping me entertained. There is Wi-Fi. But it's not very good. It's Facebook and email kind of Wi-Fi. You can't stream on it. Um, I did watch a video on my phone, but I think everybody was already off when that happened. So not much uh, Wi-Fi there. Let me show you my plan for today. Here's the map of Mackinac City. And I'll show you a little video. So here's the map of Mackinac City and the mitt of the glove or whatever. Anyway, the TP campground is down in here. So I'll just take 23 and drive along here and go up to the lighthouse here. I don't remember the name of that lighthouse. It is called the... And then go across here to the fort. And then there's another lighthouse here. And then I can come along down this road here and come back up and over and back to the campground. This blue line is the turnpike that goes over the Mackinac Bridge. And I'll be going on that tomorrow. And going over the bridge to go to Painted Rocks, I looked up the cost, and it's going to cost me about $10 to cross the bridge with my motorhome pulling my car. And I hope it's not pouring down rain. I hope it's fairly clear that I can see. Okay.
Well, that's the plan for today, is to go to the lighthouses and the fort. Come follow along. So I hope you follow me along today and see what Snickers and I get into. Okay, our first stop, Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse. Here we go. Mackinac Point marks the junction of Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. Founded in 1889, the old Mackinac Point Light Station was in operation from 1890 until 1957. A point in the storm and a guiding beacon since 1889, old Mackinac Point Lighthouse helped passing ships navigate through the treacherous waters of the Straits of Mackinac. Authentically restored quarters and exhibits, including the original lens, a chance to explore the second floor of the house, tours of the lighthouse tower, a movie, shipwrecks of the Straits, and Straits of Mackinac Shipwreck Museum make this castle of the Straits a true gem of the Great Lakes. Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse. There I am, made to be seen. The Point and Storm, guiding beacon since 1889. Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse helped passing ships navigate through the treacherous waters of the Straits of Mackinac. And here's the lighthouse, and you can see the bridge in the background and the lighthouse. Let's see how far we get with Snickers. Our next stop, Colonial Michelinac, I don't know how to say it. Snickers was allowed to go in the visitor center, but we didn't go out to the actual village. It was a bit of a walk, and I didn't really want to go that far. I did take some pictures when in the visitor center. I don't know if you can see all over this sign, but there are these little bugs. They're called non-biting midges, and they have hatched, and they are all over the place. We drove down to the McGilpin Point Lighthouse. It was constructed as a navigational aid through the Straits of Mackinac. The light began operation in 1869, making it one of the oldest surviving lighthouses on the Straits. Only in operation until 1906, the light is located in McGilpin Point, approximately three miles east of Fort Michilimackinac, where we just were. They had a store on the first floor and People are allowed to go up into the second floor to see the lighthouse quarters, but they wouldn't allow Snickers to go up there. So I just kind of looked from the stairs. It's a beautiful little lighthouse set on a field. There is an interpretive trail down to the lake, and it talks about wildlife in the area. It talks about James Davenport and he was one of the keepers, and this is the Chin Sin Trail. And there are interpretive signs along the trail that explain how the life was in that area. This is a sign about the engineer. The McGulpin family life, what they did when they lived there. 
These are cutouts that show you they are out in the forest gathering. This is the well where they gathered their water. And there were other settlers around that came from Europe and used the resources in the area. going back into town to find a place for lunch. I wanted to find a place that had fish and chips, and I found one. I'm at Scalawag's White Fish and Chips restaurant, and that's a white fish chowder. Not a clam chowder, but a white fish chowder. It's really good. I'm going to have white fish and chips and iced tea and Snickers want some clam crackers. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe in the lower peninsula of Michigan. Thanks for watching.